Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really great day trading today. So today was Tuesday, October 23rd, and we did open SPY with a gap down all the way down to the bottom of the implied move at 580. And there we met up with support from the day before, and we did swing back up and we got back above the 35 EMA. We closed the gap from this morning and then at the end of the day, we pulled back and bounced on the 35 EMA to close flat today. On that drop was a really good time to load up on 580, 579 bull put spreads. Those did close up 100% on that swing back up. And SPX, same thing over here. We dropped down with a gap down all the way down to the bottom of the implied move. You could see that wick just came out a little bit here. So we had the bottom of the implied move at 58.20 right here, as well as the previous day's support. Those two levels brought us back up. We closed this gap from the morning, and then from there, we dropped back down. 35 EMA was right there, and it brought us back up to close flat today. Both SPY and SPX closed down 0.05%. VIX also closed down 0.92% and we did close completely within the implied move here. So just like in SPX, on that drop was the perfect opportunity to get into 58.20, 58.10 bull put spreads. This is what I did today and it was an extremely easy day as we did bounce back up. All right, and QQQ, we opened here with a gap down and we dropped underneath the 35 EMA, dropped down to the bottom of the implied move at 491. And from there we came back up to close the morning gap. And then 35 EMA held us up into the day. So we did drop underneath it right here. And then hopefully you're in a good habit of checking with your secondary indicator when you're not sure. When we broke underneath that 35 EMA, you could have looked right underneath here to see that we were finding support with the signal line right here. So 35 EMA, we did swing back up and brought it to overbought on the day and then pulled back to close up. 0.11%. VXN closed up as well, 0.32%. And we did trade completely within the implied move today. And IWM did open with a gap down. Continuing the previous day's drop, we did take it all the way down to the 30 minute 200 moving average. And from there, we did see a technical bounce. We did see an oversold signal here. And we bounced on that 35 EMA to close down 0.38%. RVX closed down as well, down 2.18%. And we did trade completely within the implied move on the red side here. So 30 minute 200 moving average to the rescue today. It really paid to know that was there. And also we have this hidden level right here. This is the implied move for the week. And it is a little bit hard to see if I did make it a little bit darker here. We can see that. There you go. So bottom of the implied move on the week was right here as well. We dropped underneath it to hit that 30 minute 200 moving average and we swung right back into that level. So, so far we are sticking to being right within the implied move for the week. All right, bring that back down. And then lastly, we have DIA. DIA opened today with a gap down all the way to the bottom of the implied move for the week at 427. And we did meet up there with the previous support from last week. And from there, those two levels, the support plus the bottom of the implied move brought us back up. We closed the gap from morning. We brought it all the way back up to the 35 EMA. And there we did see resistance into the day. We did close flat down 0.01%. And we did stay within the implied move both on the day and on the week. So really interesting day. Closed mostly flat across the indices, but we did have a really decent swing in every single one of them. So hopefully you made some money today. Let's go check out tomorrow's levels.
right guys, so I got a really late start today making this video. So the rest of these charts are all going to be out on TradingView within the hour and the link to those will be in the pinned comment below as I publish them. So check over there for tomorrow's trading ranges. I do prefer to make videos, but on days like tonight when I just barely got past the first half of the video and it's 2 a.m., I just don't have it in me to make the second half of the video. So all of the commentary that I normally do on each trading range is going to be out there in trading view. You're just going to have to read it. So check out there. Hopefully tomorrow I can start the video sooner so I can actually get through it. And this is a sneak peek at the SPY trading range. All of the other ones are going to be out there. Have fun, trade safe, make sure you guys take profits when you're up, and I will see you tomorrow night. Shh. <sniffs>